Hey guys, this will be a short video. If you have an 8.1 GMC slash Chevy engine, for example, this is a 2005 C6500, 5500, a lot of them are the same, even down to the 2500 or 3500, um, there's a chance you have the 8.1 gas engine in your vehicle. I'm going to go over brief detail on how to check all your fluids and just a brief overview of even if you're going to buy one, you'll know what to look for. This is what the cab looks like inside. Manual heat controls. Um, a lot of these have dash issues. You know, your speedometer and all that not working correctly. This used to be a U-Haul vehicle. As you can see, here's your radiator. And at the moment, this radiator is almost empty, and that's why we're having heating issues. If not, you're going to have to look into your resistor pack on the heating controls. Check in here, see if there's any fluid. And you check that if there's nothing in here, which there isn't. This is your reservoir, so it's an extra capacity outside of your radiator uh, to make sure it's always cooling at full capacity, full efficiency. Here's your engine. Your alternator's there. It's a very simple disconnect. And how this belt is tightened, this is your main serpentine belt that operates everything except for your air conditioning, which is ran off of this smaller serpentine belt. To tighten or to loosen your serpentine, you're going to have to loosen the bolts on the alternator to get slack in this to disassemble parts off of the uh, serpentine system, like your alternator. You know, even if you're going down there to get your water pump, it's all tightened from here on the alternator. Here's your throttle body. And like I said before, this is a 2005. Here's your main fuse box control. And a lot of this will be different, especially if it's a 3500 or 4500. This would be more compacted. This is a much bigger truck meant for easier service. Here's uh, what I believe is your ECM. see a lot of these have actually this might be a 2000 model let me check that real quick that door is locked but actually looking at it this this does seem to be the uh the 2000 model not a 2005 nevertheless they're both very similar here's your coil packs your spark plugs going to there and the other four on the other side. You have some other things like this. This is your fuel. And as you can see, there's very, very large amount of room this is your hydro boost. A lot of Chevy trucks have these because they tend to have vacuum problems. Instead of your brake booster running off your vacuum, it has its own electric motor here. And if you're having issues with it, you know, don't stress out that you might have to buy a new one. There are some things you can do to check first. See right here? You could be having connection issues. Just follow your lines. Check this plug in right here. Check your grounding, check your fuses, and even when you have the vehicle running, and it doesn't have to be run, running that long. Just start it up and just gently tap on this with a piece of wood. And if it's still, if this is still not working after you try to press on the brakes, if you don't hear a humming noise, which I'll actually demonstrate. Other oh, door was locked, so I had to go through here. The doors on this vehicle are the locks are different. So you can't use the actual key. Let's see if it'll start up. And let's see if we can hear the humming noise.
I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. I'm here to do diagnostics on this vehicle. We can tell that the oil pressure is already very high. And uh, it was almost out of coolant. So I'm gonna check the oil. You know, sometimes the fuel filters get clogged up or there could even be a more severe issue. With it not having any radiator fluid in it, that could cause engine malfunctions. The oil pump could have overheated um, and just gone out. Anyways, uh, here's your controls, and this is a 2000 model. Let's see, yep, it's a year 2000. So anyways, I did put 2005 in the video, but, you know, I'll tell you the differences on the 2005s when you press on the brake with the engine off, your hydro boost will actually activate. So you'll have brakes even when the vehicle's off. And that comes in handy, you know, if your battery's dead and you got to get it moved, that can help a lot. Here's your parking brake. So I'm going to go ahead and do some diagnostics on this. I was going to go in further depth, but i got to check some things. The, the calipers on the 2005 are the same for the front and back brake pads and everything. So you'll need a 30 millimeter um, for your lug nuts and a 30 millimeter to take the large caliper bolts off. And you know, don't 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 cheap cheap out on this when you're doing repairs. You need a very large impact gun. You're gonna have those bolts stuck on there like crazy. And you're going to spend 10 minutes just turning those bolts out. There's four of them on each caliper. And then you have to pry the pistons back. Make sure they're working good. Anyways, I'll do a different video on that. But when you're looking at these trucks, it's going to probably have hydraulic brakes. And that's your hydro boost. That can be expensive. This needs to be replaced soon. Check, Make sure it's cooling properly. Check for leaks. Check for oil leak. Um, also, your OBD scanner won't work on this you have to have a special one to check trucks is large and you can kind of get a cheap one a chinese one but um you know I'll, I'll i'll let that be up to you to decide either way these trucks have plenty of power and this is what u-haul uses so i'm sure a bunch of you are probably looking at these at an auction site and you can get them pretty cheap here's your break uh, i can't get much uh, on that, but uh, also You'll need to look at that make sure that's not leaking and that's your hydraulic pump and you'll be using automatic transmission fluid for pretty much everything for your steering your hydraulic pump and uh, Actually this one's separate sometimes these are connected um, And then you'll need just brake fluid dot three up here and oil wise it's 530 I believe I can't remember off the top of my head but uh this is pretty much it for the video you know your thermosets there check your spark plugs stuff like that it's a great vehicle just make sure it's good on fluids because even big machines like this can still hurt if it's slow anyways guys thanks for watching I'll try to post videos of changing the brakes and stuff I wouldn't be surprised if my video gets deleted because I feel like there's some type of ban on repair videos on trucks these large. And I'm not really sure why. Have a good day.